Today on The Joy of Editing, I want to show you how to upscale your images in Photoshop using Topaz Photo AI 2. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I want to show you Topaz Photo AI 2 and now we can upscale our images right in Photoshop as a plugin, which I am really excited about, so I will show that to you today. I wanted to show that to you last week in my first look video, but it wasn't working for me. I put in a support ticket to Topaz. They got back to me right away and it is up and running now. So if you ever have issues with uh, Topaz Photo AI or any Topaz products, uh, get in touch with them. They will help you out. Well, let me give you a little bit of information on this image. This image size, this is one of my images, one of my flower images. I love taking photos of flowers. And this image is already edited. But as you can see here right now, it is 2520 pixels by 1886 pixels, which equates to like a seven by five roughly at a resolution of 360. So I could not get a very big print out of this image, but we can upsize it. By the way, if you wanna see your image size, all you need to do is, let me cancel this. If you come up here to the Photoshop menu and click on image and then click on image size, you can see the size of your image. If you have the TK9 plugin for Photoshop or TK8 plugin for Photoshop, you could come to the combo or CX panel and click on size and you'll get that information up right away. It's really quick and handy with the TK plugin for Photoshop. All right then, let's go ahead and upsize. Let's say I wanted to make a print out of this image, so I definitely need to upsize it. So it's really easy to do. Just come up here to Photoshop's menu and click on File and come down to Automate and you're gonna find Topaz Photo AI in here along with Gigapixel AI. I do recommend Photo AI. I think it's doing a really fantastic job, which you'll see here. I'll be doing some adjustments on this inside of Photo AI once we launch it. And to launch it, just give it a left click with your mouse and you will invoke Topaz Photo AI, as you can see right here. I'll leave this all in real time so you can see how long this is going to take. All right, here we are inside of Photo AI, and as you can see, it's running autopilot on it right now. So we just have to give it a little bit of time here. Now, this was a, a smaller image, so you can see I have my Photo AI set up to automatically upscale smaller images. And to set that up, what you need to do is not file. You need to go over to Topaz Photo AI, click right there, and click on Preferences. By the way, autopilot just completed. Now inside of Preferences, under Autopilot, you'll notice here Upscale and Resize. My default model is set for Auto. Now you can click this drop down and you have different choices here, Standard, High Fidelity, Graphics, or Low Resolution. But right here, Resize Type, Enhance Small Images. Now this is a drop down. If you click it, you have some choices. Mine is set up for Enhance Small Images. But you can also come here and click set output size and tell it what size you want it to upsize to. I just let it enhance small images and or you could choose none. It's up to you. Now, obviously, if you change anything, you're going to have to click on save or you could click cancel or you could just click outside of this box and it will shut down your preferences. Now, it's upsized my image 1.59 times. Now, if you click right here, you'll open up this panel. And now we can see Photo AI has chosen standard for me, but we have different models in here, standard, high fidelity, graphics, and low resolution. And you can just click on these and try these all out. So you can see it's using minor denoising and a minor de-blur, and it's uh, working on the compression a little bit. It's fixing compression, and I think it looks really good but I think this image could be a little bit sharper. What do you think? Let's see what we can do there. Now I could take this minor deep blur and drag it up more and see if I can get some more sharpening out of here. And I'll let this in real time. It's going and enhancing. So it's still doing that. So we'll just wait a few seconds here. Takes a little bit of time, but hey, good things come to those who wait, right? And this product does such a great job. But here you go. It's a little bit sharper, but I think it could be better than that. I'm going to go ahead, and if you want to reset this module, all you have to do is click this arrow right here, and you'll reset it. Next, I'll do some sharpening through the Sharpen module, see if we can get some better sharpness out of this image. But let me show you right now. In the Preferences, I have my subject set at default for sharpening in the Preferences. So if I hover right here, you can see that that is my subject in blue. That is what I've selected. If you want to change that, you can just click this button 
and you have choices of default, which mine is set at, or portrait, landscape, or none. But in the preferences, I have mine set up for default. So I'm just going to click cancel. Also, before I sharpen right now, I'm set up to upsize 1.59 times, but I really want to go much larger than that. I want mine to go up to four times, so I'm going to click this 4X button, and it's going to go ahead and run its enhance on here because I would like to get a pretty decent sized print out of this. And at that smaller size, I couldn't get a real big print out of it. But at this 4X size, it's now 10,080 pixels by 7,544. So I could get a nice, like up to a 24 inch on the longest side print out of this, or maybe even a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm going for with this upsizing. I'm going to come to the navigator window and move this area over into this flower right here because this is the flower that is the sharpest flower in focus. And as you can see, it's not super sharp. So can we do better? I think we can. So let's click on the sharpen module right here. And this opens up the sharpen. Now I'm set for subject only as you can see right there. And already you can see it looks really good. Now my strength is set for 30. The minor denoise is at 36. But I think I can get it a little bit sharper. So let me take this strength and drag it to the right a little bit. And give it a second here to enhance. It's enhancing. It's in real time. And now it is done. And that looks a lot sharper. Okay, so if I drag this line across, there's the before and there's the after. Pretty good. I'll look around different parts of the image here. But to me, this is the main subject. And this is the one I really want to base my sharpening off of. This is the standard model. Now we have strong. We could try all these different models. We have lens blur and motion blur. But I think standard is going to do it. But this looks a little funny to me. How about you? Uh, what I'm going to do is try this new standard version too. So let me click on that and we'll let this run in real time here. See how long it takes takes its enhancing right now and it is done but that looks more natural now compare this to standard let me click on standard and you see that it just looks a little funky in here it doesn't look quite right so I'm going to click on standard version 2 again and see what we get yeah that looks more natural to me I'm going to give it even more strength here and see what I can do and see how long it takes to sharpen here it's almost there. See if I'm overdoing it. No, look at that. That looks so much better compared to here is standard. It's going to have to run again because I changed the strength here. Okay. Yeah, that does not look good, does it? I think that looks very unnatural, but check out standard version 2. That looks really good. Now let's look at other parts of the image like this flower right here. We'll give it a chance here to enhance itself. And it's almost there. Yeah, look at that. That looks really, really good. And this is the other flower that was in focus right here. Let me pull this across. Okay, so look at that. That looks really natural. I'm really happy with the standard version too. If you haven't tried to give it a try, there's the before and there's the after. So pretty incredible. So I'm really happy with it. And then if you want to, you can play with the minor denoise if you, if you need to. But I'm going to leave it right where it is. I think it looks good. I'm back at the navigator window. I'm going to go back to the first flower here and give it a second. Okay, so there it is. Just to be fair, you'll notice that the minor denoise strength is at 6. So let me go to standard and let me take this up to 70 just to compare the two. Let me take this to 70 and let me take the minor denoise down to six just to really have the same numbers on each of them. Give it a chance to enhance. It's almost there. And now it is. Yeah, so ooh, that looks really horrible, doesn't it? That does not look good. Now let's compare it to standard version two with the same numbers. It's almost done. And it's still enhancing. And now it's done. But look at the difference. That looks so much more natural. And let me pull this across. So there's the before and there's the after. So I think it's done a beautiful job. So give that standard version to a try. I think you're going to be happy with it. And let me know in the comment section below what kind of results you're getting. My work in Photo AI is done. So let me go ahead and click Save to Photoshop. And I'll let this go in real time. We'll see how long it takes. And we'll just wait here. But I'm really happy with this new update. And I'm so thankful that we can now upscale our images right inside of Photoshop. So it's still processing. By the way, in the screen right now, you can see the specs for my iMac computer just to get an idea. And it is almost done. Give it a second or two. And now here... 
we are upsized back in Photoshop. Now let's take a look. Here is what it looks like before the sharpening. And here's what it looks like after. So it has done a really good job. And let's take a look at this flower as well right here. Here's the before sharpening and here's after. And I missed the main flower, this guy right here. Here it is before sharpening and here it is after. Now I'm going to use my TK9 combo panel to fit this to the screen by clicking this button right here. And now we're fit to screen. Now let me go into my history so we can take a look here. So here's our image before I upsized it right here. It was that size and now it is this size. But look at the job that Topaz Photo AI has done. It has done a fantastic job. What can I say? Photo AI version two is a great update in my opinion. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. I'll click my size button on the combo panel. Now, as you can see, I can get a 28 inch wide print out of this at a resolution of 360, which is what my Epson printer takes. So I can get a nice big print out of here. Thanks to Topaz Photo AI version 2. The new dimensions are 10,080 pixels by 7,544 pixels. I'm just going to click cancel. Also notice Topaz Photo AI will label your layer. Topaz Photo AI layer, upscale and sharpen. It lets you know what you did. So that's kind of nice too. And by the way, you can also, and I just tested this out, you can, uh, you can also crop your images and upscale your images right in Topaz Photo AI, which is really cool. So if you take a look, here is the, this is the original crop, and then I cropped it and upsized it in Topaz Photo AI to here. And if I go back to my history, you can see this was the original size of the image, okay? So now it looks like this cropped in and upsized. It's much larger now. So pretty cool. You can crop and upscale right inside of Topaz Photo AI. Well, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification, click on all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.